Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni and I am the blogger behind SimpleLivingMama.com and welcome back to Vlogmas. We've missed a few days if you're wondering why we are actually visiting with family so that is why my location looks different. Um, I wanted to take a moment to jump back in we're not we probably won't have regularly scheduled videos this week i will be filming more content over the weekend and should have all of next week filled in um this week i'm just planning on doing a little day in the life video and then this video maybe one more video if i can get it in we'll have to see um but yeah we've had a really good time we had a nice trip up here other than my three-year-old is sick she has some sort of um, upper respiratory virus going on, so that's not good. But we've just been having a good time. Um, Luke and I got to go out yesterday, so that was nice. The purpose of today's video is to sort of talk about something that I've been asked about. How do we handle the mid-year slump in homeschooling? And it usually always happens during the winter months. You've been homeschooling for a while, and you get to, you know... The middle of the year and everybody just kind of loses steam and you don't feel like doing anything anymore we've all been there um i was there a few weeks ago actually and i'm gonna tell you guys what i did okay first of all we took some mental health days um my kids were going crazy they were rowdy we needed to reevaluate what all we wanted to get done before we took a break and um, we just needed some time to to get things in order around the house and to just breathe, I guess, is the best way to put it. I had been under a lot of stress and the kids were just, they were feeling it too. So we took just some mental health days. I did some organization projects around the house and I just kind of let the kids do whatever they wanted to do during those days. Another thing we did, this happened last week. I actually, let's see, I think I ended up taking them out um, one day the week before last and then one day last week. So we just did a donut day. We got our school done for the morning and I normally, I don't buy the kids donuts hardly at all. Um, we did do it for our uh, first day of homeschool, but I decided, you know what, we need to go return these, lo these books back to the library and I'm just going to get the kids donuts and just taking that time to go do something that we don't normally do really helped us. It helped our morale and it just, um, it helped us get back on track, really. <laughs> um, other things we do during the middle of the school year, I'm not afraid to change things up. I, um... If we need to scale back and not do so much with history or science, we won't do it. We'll we'll do our basic subjects and just scale back on the other things and do fun things, which is what we do during Advent. So even like um, last month in November, we were doing so many different handicrafts. I normally don't have time to do so many handicrafts because we are doing all these other things. But since I scaled back on our ancient Egypt study, we were able to do more handicrafts and it was a lot of fun to do all of that. So, um, you know, add in some other things that your kids will be interested in. Um, with our Advent stuff, we, we just love our Advent studies. So we are doing a gentle Advent and we are having these wonderful poetry tea times and um, little projects that we can do. And that's a great way to just break up the middle of the year and try to get over that slump that usually comes during the winter months. Other things you can try, look for free classes. Um, our library has a homeschool hangout. Take your kids to it. Don't be afraid to get out of the house and go do something different that you wouldn't normally do. Um, also just participate in different community projects. So we have a lot going on right now. The kids have they just did a Christmas parade. We've got service projects going on with different things that we're involved with. The church is doing a um, Christmas play. So there's a lot going on right now. And um, I think that definitely helps just to participate in those things where you can and where you're able. It helps you to get through those tough winter months. Um, another tip I have is just read. Just 
find a good book, whether it's an audiobook or one that you're reading aloud, and just read with your kids. Um, there's so much that can be learned through a good book, and you guys know that I that I firmly believe in that. So that's another tip that I have. Just scale it back. Find um, a good fiction book that maybe goes along with the time period and history that you're studying. Take a break from the regular curriculum and just read. Also, I find that the kids will do stuff that's schoolish without even realizing it. Like, um, my kids love to act out plays and um, write their own stories. And <laughs> I got a dinosaur, a baby dinosaur with me. They just enjoy doing those kinds of things. So let them, let them play and have fun. And, um, yeah, that, that's how we do it. That's how we get through the, the homeschool slump, the winter months. We change things up and we, we just try to do fun things together as a family, get out, participate in community events and, um, community homeschool events are another good another good thing to try to do and stuff like that change change it up just you know that's my biggest tip I guess is don't be afraid to change things up a little bit and I've written some blog posts um there have even been times when I have switched curriculum mid-year and that's how we ended up coming to the good and the beautiful because I didn't start with the good and beautiful I'm sorry I won't touch your hair we didn't start with that um I think I've switched all of my kids probably mid-year to their curriculum and found out that it works really well for our family. So, um, I will link that post if you're interested. Alright, so that is going to be it for today's video. Um, hopefully we can get another day in the life up for you guys this week. I hope that you are having a wonderful week. Um, and you are all getting into the Christmas spirit. So, um... If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye.